a few days ago, Anikant Avad made a video talking about love of the void. And that is, um, that if nothing lies outside the universe except for a void, and if consciousness ends and there is nothing but a void, then there is nothing to be terrified of in that sense. Um, and to a certain extent, I agree with him. Um, I wanted to talk about the void in terms of our life here, um, and not so much in the metaphysical definition, in terms of man, society, and value. Um, if we can talk about society as arising from primordial concerns, that is concerns that have to do with life and the propagation of life, um, securing and maintaining those concerns safe, of course, through cooperation, etc. Um, and we take those first concerns as the only real concerns of society and of man. And from there, to look at uh, society as it has progressed technologically, we see the value of those primordial concerns shift from something concrete to something abstract, moving farther and farther away from brute facts of life, of existence. So that technological advancement itself becomes a value. Um, and these first concerns are not forgotten, but misplaced. That sort of the archetype of the primordial man, the ancient man, is never forgotten. But the desire is to escape that archetype. Through technology, it seems that it can be done. So, value is given. So as value shifts to more and more abstraction, there is a fear, not of the outside void, but of the inner void, the void of life. To find that the value he has created in society is void, it is, that it is meaningless, and that it is ultimately no progression at all, because he has not been able to escape these facts of existence. That's the fact of maintaining life and propagating life. He has been able to keep nature at bay at a certain distance, but he cannot ex escape certain facts of his own existence. And I think that the great fear of the void becomes um, the fear that all the value will crumble away and he will find himself face to face with that ancient man. Thank you.